we were talking about how we wanted to try and get the garden back up and running. My schedule's pretty hectic, but I've been trying to here and there get out here with the lawnmower and look. I turned off the fence. Okay. Finally have finally have been able to start reclaiming the orchard, which is good because this isn't going to be the orchard. We planted the orchard here, but we realized this is not where we want the orchard. We're actually going to relocate the orchard to the back section of the property back here in the corner right over here. And so, um, yeah, ultimately we're going to have the garden, which may take up a lot of this area, but we're also going to have the Silky's main coop, which I showed you guys in one of our previous vlogs, the sketch out for, but we've got to, um, here buddy, I'll help you. <laughs> He's trying to get in with Mocha and the baby. We've got to level this, so that means we need to scrape off the top layer, layer of good soil, bring in uh, dirt to raise it up and level it out, and then put the uh, soil, the good soil that we want to keep back on top before we can start gardening again. So that means all of this has got to go. Ultimately, the orchard, as I was saying, is going to be in the back corner of the property. I'm walking back there now. But we are going to have, right now, where Mocha and her baby are, there is a giant downed pepper bush. And that is actually going to be getting ripped out because the pepper bush lays on a berm right here. So if you can see, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of raised up. So there's, it's kind of like a hill almost. And this is ultimately going to be our walkway to the orchard. So that's going to get removed. And then we will have a walkway back to the orchard. Now we have banana trees. We're not going to put the bananas in the orchard. We're actually going to put those along the walkway because we're going to try and have the walkway not just be a walkway. We want to use this space as much as possible. So along this side, we're actually going to plant banana trees because it gets wetter over here and banana trees actually seem to like that better so we're not going to plant them in like standing water but there is a lot more water available here so that's where we're going to put them so here sits abandoned not really abandoned just unused the uh chicken tractor from when we ran the uh, meat chickens we're actually going to be using this soon not for meat chickens but likely for Miss Cuckoo's chicks that we are gonna grow out. Not sure if we're gonna run them in this or if we're just gonna try and introduce them to the flock once they're big enough. We'll see. Either way, it's kind of in the way. It's got a lot of grass overgrown out of it, so we're gonna try and get it moved. Still got a lot of stuff from whenever we were running the meat chickens. So we got feeders. We're gonna set these off to the side. It's gonna be fun. The grass is running. Let's see if we can do it. I've had a bunch of critters are gonna come following now. Well, no, there's not really any way for them to get in there. I don't think there's anything living in there. Gotta get this grass laid down. I, I was like, yeah. 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 All right, let's just try and see if we can get it to lift up a little bit. One, two, three. That was much easier. Whoa. And then I'm gonna place it under there? Yep, now it's gonna hold it up so I can get my hands underneath it. Ready? One, two, three. There you go. Watch your toe. Don't set it on your toe. There we go. Three. Keep pushing. And if we can just get it on its side. Ah, I'm short. Here, get on, man. Get on that side. Good job. There we go. Okay. Oh. Lower it down. This way. I'll pull. There we go. I'm a horse. There we go, bud. Get on the low grass. That doesn't grow a stick.
Holy cow, I never thought I'd see that again. We still got this right here we gotta clear out, but there's some pallets in there from the gold, goat's old uh, hut. Look at this okra. This is so crazy to me. Look at how it grew. It just kept growing. Look at how thick this is. It's completely dead. Like, look, I can you hear how hear how dry that is. It's like, com it's completely dead, but I, look at how big that is. That's insane to me. I didn't know they could like get this big. Actually, <laughs> that, God. We're probably gonna have some volunteer okra here. <laughs> see all these pods that dried up. Let me see if there's even any, yeah, all the seeds fell out. So there's a good chance we might get some volunteer okra popping up here. We'll see, but uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull up this okra and then mow this section and then all that will be left is the area that's right there with the pallets and then the old tomato trellis and the uh, arched trellis. And then we gotta move the fruit trees. But I prepped the area where the banana trees are gonna go, but you do not want to transplant them in the heat of the day. You want to do it either in the early morning or in the late evening. Now, I personally feel like in the late evening is best. If you transplant a plant during the heat of the day, it's less likely to recover. Whereas if you transplant it in the morning or the evening, early, early, early morning before the sun's like really up high, you're more likely for it to be a successful transplant. So the reason why I personally think that transplanting or moving plants is better in the evening time is because you also give it the time overnight to settle into its new location before the sun comes up and it goes through the next day. Here bud, come show me those muscles, all right? Lift that one up. Go get it from the base. Arr, there you go. Arr. <laughs> all right, come here. Let's get all these pulled up. Put them Wait, in the let's have, let's have an ochre fight. Ochre fight? Yeah. Grab your way. goodness look at it it's so close we're finally getting this back oh I miss my garden so much honestly it's been something that I have really missed but things have just been it's just been hectic life gets in the way and that's okay like sometimes that just happens so we are up to the tomato trellis so all that's left now is the tomato trellis area and the arch trellis and then that little patch over there with the pallets we got the rest of this kind of reclaimed now um, I'm not worried about the grass because we're going to be bringing someone in to scrape up the top layer of the good soil that we want and then we're bringing in dirt to raise it up just a little bit and level it out and then we're going to spread that good soil that we want over the top of it and then we will uh, we'll start from scratch. We'll start from scratch. Um, we'll do some cover crops, tarping. I'll, walk, I'll show you guys how we're doing all of this as we're doing it. So you're gonna see us literally going from this to rich soil and growing our garden finally. So Leon, um, Leon loves jokes. So if you know any jokes, leave a comment down below and I will share that with them. But he, um, he's actually come up with a few pretty good ones and I thought it would be cute for him to share those jokes with our followers. So let's make this Leon's daily joke. So Leon, you got a joke for us today? Uh-huh. 
What language do porcupines use? What language do porcupines use? Spy language. Spy language. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs>